Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I'm working on painting some rims and the rims I am going to be painting are for a 2014 Infinity Q60 Coupe and the color we are going to be using is Red Pearl. If you look at the side of your door, if you have an Infinity and you got the color N-A-H, it stands for Red Pearl. So let me show you what we need and what I have done so far. So you're going to need the base coat, as you can see right here, Infinity N-A-H. You're also going to need some primer. I got the red primer. I don't know. I like red. And I also got the, the Max 2K Clear. Now, I'm going to show you what we need. You're definitely going to need a bucket with some water. You're going to need some sandpaper. I'm going to be using 500, but you can use 600. These rims are not in bad shape. Let me show you so far what I have done. So, as you can see, this one already been sand down. I put the primer on it. I put red primer. One mistake I made, I used the car because I didn't want to paint the, the tire, and I did. So, somehow I'm going to have to find a way to remove the paint from the tire. This is the other one that has been sanded and primed. Now, let me just show you the color. This is the color. This one has been sanded, primed, and colored, but no clear coat yet. So let's see what we got to do to get to here. So we're going to take this cap out of here. You just go under, put your fingers in it, and just push up. I don't know if I mentioned it. This is these are going to be painted black gloss. I don't have to paint yet. I'm going to get it. But this is going to be black. This is going to be pearl red. And this is going to be black. It's going to look really nice. Now, as I said, this, this rings are pretty good. It only has a couple of scratches. And that's the reason why I'm using a 500 grit sandpaper. And my goal is to take off the, the coating, the clear coat that it has. So basically, all you do is just wet the sandpaper and just start sanding. And when you sand it, all you make sure you want to get in between here, here, and all around. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish sanding it with this 500 grit. Then I'm going to clean it just to see if I miss any spot. And then we're just going to wash it off and put some degrease on it and start painting it. Degreaser, you want to use a degreaser now. Once you wash it, you just want to use the degreaser. Take the grease out of it. 
So I'm going to finish cleaning this up and I'll be right back. What you want to do once you have cleaned it, washed it, and um, put the degreaser on it, you took the grease out, you want to make sure that it's nice and dry. And we're going to put some cars in it. Um, it's also good to cover this side over here, but today I'm going to be using the cars. All you do is just put it in between. And just put it all around. So I'll be right back. Make sure you got a mask on. Also make sure you shake the can good. I'm using sandable primer. And don't forget to tape this up. The first coat has to be light. I used to make the mistake and try to go heavy. The first coat is always light. That's good right there. Then in the second coat, we're going to go a little heavier. I waited five minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to coat it. I'm going to put some more primer nice and heavy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it dry. And we're going to jump into the other one that is nice and dry. But we can put the color. You want to continue until you're happy with the result that is nice and fine and then you're ready to paint. You should have a nice color like this. Now, usually after this what I do is I sand it down. But the job came out so good that I sand it good that I'm not going to sign the primer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to the color. And this is what I'm going to be using, Infinity NAH. And the, just like the process over there, you want to go light coat. Now let that dry for five minutes and we're going to give it another coat. Look how pretty this is coming out. I'm going to give it a few coats and I'll show you the results. So this is how it looks with four coats of 
paint looks pretty good. No dripping or nothing. Now all I gotta do is let it dry. And we're gonna do is put the clear gloss. We're gonna continue with the clear coat. But before we put the clear coat, I wanna show you how all four ties came out. For this part, you're definitely gonna need a mask because it says professional use only. It says protective mask must be worn when spraying paint from aerosol. So you're gonna need a mask when you're gonna um, do this. If you're doing it in a garage like I am, make sure you have the garage gate open. I'm gonna open all the way, but I'm gonna show you so far where I'm at here. These are the emblems. It only has primer on it. The tires are already finished. All I have to put is the clear coat on it. Show you how they look. The mistake I made was that next time I do something like that, I gotta cover the tires. So make sure you cover that with newspaper and tape. I used the, the, the deck of cars. It didn't work out too good with me on that, but they worked out good on the paint job. That's one. That's number two. Number three. And number four. So let's go mix the, the clear coat up and start putting clear coat on these wheels. First one you want to go with a light coat. For the second coat, you want to go a little bit more heavier. Make sure you continue to shake the pan. I'm gonna let it dry, hit it a few more coats. So here goes the finished product. Look at how beautiful it looked in the car. Look at that. Only thing he's gonna do is get some lock nuts, some black ones. This came out beautiful like a professional did it. Look at that. The only thing I will do different is two things. I will paint inside, but we didn't bought enough paint. But for the summer, we're going to be fixing it up. But this is how it looks. Let me go to the other side. Look how beautiful they came out.
Look at how nice. You can also do this job yourself, take your time, and you save yourself some money. So once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if non-mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.